Go ahead. There were three events which occurred in rapid succession last night. Monitoring systems detected a significant increase in traffic. The traffic was largely coming from the United States. Can we move it along? The ABS experienced a hardware failure. A router became overloaded. Yes, we've got everybody we have working on the problem. The false positive occurred. A false alarm was raised. Tell her to pack up and leave town. The ABS made a decision to turn that website off. Or the board mission. This was not an attack, nor was it a hack. People would not be surprised that the ABS and other agencies are subject to denial of service attacks. There was no attack. Uh, there was no hack. It's just that there was a confluence of events. Actually, a confluence of events. This is one of the greatest IT bungles that a Commonwealth government has ever been associated with. Something you want to add, Captain? Labor's not going to be too political about this. No. <laughs> the good thing is the firewall's held up. And the ABS, whilst they've been very cautious, they've also shown to be very responsible. I would like, I would like to, to firstly, firstly apologise again, again to the inconvenience that has, that has been, been caused, caused for many Australians. Australians. But, but I, I believe you would also expect the ABS to safely, safely secure your data in these circumstances. This hasn't been well enough explained. What the hell was you going to tell me? Uh, the, uh, the, um... We're going to have to work on our communication. None of you did anything to prevent this. The ABS was prepared. Yes, the government was prepared. Ah! Don't get me prepared. This has been a failure of the ABS. That almost ended up a draw. They're even more confused than we are, sir. The last 24 hours have been really exciting. Bear in mind the fact that I've been the minister responsible for the ABS for three weeks. Isn't it amazing how quickly everyone can turn against you? <laughs>